Hey guys, it's Tampa Tech, and I'm going to show you an easy way to test the power supply. This is uh, what I do to test the power supply plug right here. That it's kind of hard to get your meter leads in there. Let me show you right there. So right about there, if you're trying to get your meter leads in that plug, it's very difficult to do that. And if you see, there's um, actually the readings. So this plug actually goes and powers on the main video audio logic board. So I got my meter right here. So you want to put that in DC mode because the voltage going to the main board is direct current, DC. You see that? It's a pretty thick lead right there. And you try to put that in, it doesn't fit. So you can't get any readings off of it. So what you have to do is get a part, like a resistor or a diode, whatever works for you. And you want to take it like that and just twist it around times like that and then make a little point at the end like that and then with this back end you just do that so you just twist it around like that one lead on ground which is usually usually the back chassis or right here the metal tab on the corner of the board it could be a good ground so now that you have your special lead right there with this tiny tip. I'm gonna go ahead and test your voltages. This one says 12 volts, and you can read it. They're all right here. It says 12 volts, 12 volts, and then down here it says three volts, and so on and so forth. But the, the reason why you don't wanna to touch it right here while the TV's on is for one, if you put your lead on both pins, you're gonna short out something. You want to do one pin at a time. If you accidentally brush your pin, brush your uh, meter lead against two pins, that's not good because you're going to short things out. Then you're working backwards. And it's a good thing about this is if you can actually stick it in the pin and it'll stay right there. So you're, now you're working with right here. You can work with now an extra hand. You can see right here, this is 12 volts, which is good. That's, good voltage. You can also see if there's any alternating current coming through by hitting the button. Let's see, there's 0 0.03 AC volts going through. All right, 0 0.03 is pretty low, it may not affect anything, but you know, ultimately you want 0 .0, any, you know, 0, 0.00 would be probably ideal. And then next, the most important is my standby voltage is point, I mean it's three volts. Usually it's five. In this case it's three. It could be 3.3. 3. Let's go ahead and get a good voltage reading out of that. There we go. That should be okay. And let's see if we get the 3.3 we're looking for. Standby voltage to the main board is 3.3, so that's good. All right, thanks for watching. Post a comment, subscribe to Tampa Tech, and uh, check out my other YouTube videos, how to fix TVs, tablets, and computers. Hopefully this tip helped you out. Uh, test the power supply. And don't forget to like if you like this video.